Hi guys, I'm Anton from Automate Opponent. In this video, I will explain how to use the proxy design pattern to eliminate the usage of hard-coded pauses in our web tests. And then instead, we will implement a solution that automatically waits for elements to appear. I wrote a detailed article about it, so I recommend to check it after watching the video. There is a link at the, at the bottom of the article where you can download the full source code that I will demonstrate. Now let's first review what our problem is and then try to solve it. Imagine that we have this imaginary website where um, it's a show about rockets and we want to purchase a rocket. First, we need to click to the add card button. Then click on the view card button and wait for the next page to appear. Then imagine that today we have a birthday, so we received a special discount code called Happy Birthday. We need to apply the coupon and we receive this uh, discount. And then uh, we have additional budget and we want to increase the quantity to two, update the card, wait for the asynchronous request to finish, and then proceed to checkout. Next, we need to fill all of this required uh, information and place the order. This is our use case. And let's review um, our initial implementation uh, of this web test. For the job, um, we have a .NET Core uh, project where I installed several NuGet packages. MS Test Framework, MS Test Test Adapter, Microsoft Test SDK. Then we have, uh, of course, Selenium Web Driver and the additional Chrome Driver. In our uh, initial implementation, we created a test class where in the test initialize method, which is you know, executed before each test, we initialize the Chrome Driver. And then in the end of each test, we close the browser. Then we navigate to our web shop, find all of the elements and perform all of the actions that I showed you. And then, uh, as you can see, uh, to handle the, all of the waiting logic for particular elements to appear or disappear and handle the requests, we use hard-coded pauses here. We wait for five seconds. Then after the apply form, we wait for five more seconds. In the end, uh, when we place the order, we wait for 10 seconds. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, all of these additional pauses add uh, something like 35 seconds on top of the normal execution of the test. Now, let's review how um, what the proxy design pattern is and how it can help us. Let's review the diagram. Here um, in the article, you can view the same uh, description that I, that I gave you. And here it is. What is the proxy? The proxy is something like a wrapper to an object. And we can control inside the proxy how we access uh, the real object. Um, our proxy here uh, implements the same interface as our wrapped object, in our case, the Chrome driver or the iWeb driver. And actually, our tests are using uh, the same interface. So the usage in the test will stay the same. However, our goal will be to, you know, in the find element methods, uh, as in a second I will show you, to wait for the elements to appear and to use uh, the explicit weight. Now, let's review the code. Here it is, our uh, web driver proxy class. And here, as I mentioned, the most important part of the proxy is that it implements the same interface as the wrapped object. Here we use composition uh, to hold uh, a private instance to the iWeb driver, and we pass it through the constructor. Here we pass the actual implementation. In our case, in our test, this will be the Chrome driver. Um, then we initialize the WebDriver wait class. As you know, it helps 
uh, it's something like a loop that will wait for a partition for a particular condition to happen. For example, for a particular element to exist or to be clickable. And this is actually uh, the thing that we do in the find element and find elements methods. We uh, use this web driver class and call the until method to wait for this uh, element located by this locator to appear. Uh, this is something that comes from the additional package that we included called .NET Selenium Extras .wait helpers. Uh, before, uh, it was part of the Selenium support NuGet package. And later on, as you can see, these wrapper methods are actually calling the uh, wrap web driver and call the same methods. This is it, nothing else. Uh, the, the addition that we add here is that we use this web driver way. And now let's review uh, the tests using the proxy. What have changed? First, we again, uh, in the test, we use the original native iWeb driver interface. But instead of assigning directly the, uh, you know, the Chrome driver, we are actually assigning the web driver proxy uh, and to its constructor, we pass the Chrome driver. But actually, the implementation here of the test is almost the same. Uh, the only change that I made is that I commented some of the pauses here. Uh, because uh, when you call this find element, we actually are calling the find element of the proxy class, which inside is waiting automatically for our element located by this locator here to appear, and then it's returned. I haven't removed all the pauses since um, this automatic wait uh, won't handle uh, the asynchronous requests. However, in the next video and article, I will show you how to use the adapter design pattern and how to remove these pauses too. Uh, I already executed the tests, and as you can see, um, the proxy tests are much faster than the hard coded pauses since we removed something like almost 16 seconds. Uh, so this is it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can ask them on, uh, on the Automate Planet forum. And for more information about design patterns, please check automateplanet.com. Thank you.